Hi everyone, this is Alicia McFarland from aliciamcfarland.com. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can add a collaborator to a website that is hosted by SiteGround. And this is very helpful if you're working with a website designer like me and you don't want to give them your um, main user account login credentials. It's also safer for the designer and any other collaborator as well, since they don't want to tap into all of your private information at all anyway. <laughs> so here I am in my SiteGround account, and I'm logged in, and I'm automatically taken to the home page. And I'm going to click over here on Websites so that I can see my list of websites. I just have one on this SiteGround account. Underneath that listing for the websites, you'll see this extras and users. You want to click on users and you want to add users to the site. So I, 99% of the time, you're going to want to use a collaborator. So just keep that in mind when you click on this button. So go ahead and click on add user. You want to select collaborator and then if you have them already listed, if it's somebody that you've already worked with in the past and you've already linked accounts, um, they may show up here. If not, just go ahead and click on new user. And then you're going to put in, um, oops, you're going to put in their email address and then their name. And obviously I'm just using my Gmail account to do this so I can show you how to how it all works. So then you click on the add button after you've entered the information and it's going to give you the success uh, pop-up that just says they're sending an invitation to that person to be a user on this website, the website that's listed here. If you have more than one website you may need to select the website first and then go into this page but it's a little bit hard to see so that's why I wanted to point this out. It'll default to user or extras, but go to users. And then this will show you the status until that person decides if they want to collaborate with you or not. If at some point you're just like, forget it. <laughs> I don't want to, I don't want to work with them anyway, or for whatever reason, just go ahead and click on those three um, vertical buttons and it'll say cancel invite, which I'm going to do right now. And that is how you can add someone to a SiteGround website, um, the account part, so that they can come into the site tools for this particular website, whichever one you choose, and be able to help you uh, make changes here or work through any issues or troubleshoot issues without giving them your main account login credentials. I hope that has been helpful. If you have any questions, please let me know um, at aliciamcfarland.com. Thanks so much and have a great day.